Hello everyone, um, my name is Rahab and uh, as I promised, this is the singing, the, the singing, the video that I wanted to create for you guys. So we'll be using the 20, 2019 question paper. Ne? I'll be speaking in English so that everybody can understand. Ne? This is the question paper that we have for 2019. Okay, let's go. This is the first front page of the paper and then this is the... Um, second one with instructions that we need to follow and the hours that have been given and the marks. Alright, it says answer all the questions, use appropriate application, the time allocated, the time allocated, it is your responsibility and everything. Yeah? So now we're going to start with question one, which is section one of our lesson. Yeah? It's a word processing. It takes up approximately 72 minutes to do um, this uh, work, but then we'll do it chop chops. Ne? Okay, so when you get to your question papers, you mustn't be nervous, just read carefully. It says here use MS Access or the Mail Match feature in MS Word, meaning that you're going to use the Word document that we usually that we usually use in class, which is this one. Okay, so it has to be this one. You must make sure that your document says Word up here. Let me just enlarge the screen. So that you guys can see. Yeah, so it has to be like this. It has to say document word. It mustn't say word pad. Because if it's a word pad, then it's not going to be a document. It's just a, a, a feature that, you, that you're going to, that you'll be writing notes on. But this is a document, all right. Okay, so let's move on. So your document says you must use a word uh, processor for for um for mail match feature in MS to create a data source file for the new list of recipients provided on the next page. Do not key in the information provided in the first column. Set the font. Okay, let's just look at our given here's our given thingy that we need to type on our document. Alright. So I'm just gonna go to the document and then I'll type everything on the document while I pause this video. And then when I'm done, then I'll come back to you. So you're going to go to your document. When you get here, ne? just make sure that you don't have any spaces. You know when you press enter, then you have spaces. When you get to your laptop, just go, just click on backspacing. And just click on backspace before you can do anything. Ne? And then that's when you're going to start your document. So now we're going to start with um, a table. Usually now I do things the simplest way. I guess there's like how many columns? There's two, four, six columns and two, four, six rows. So in this way, we're going to make... And then these are not needed as such. Alright, these are not needed as such. The only thing that is needed is the name, surname, NCV program, and then we're going to start with Kate, Ina, Michael, and everybody and everybody. Okay, so now we're going to start. So it's six columns. It's, 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 it's two, four, it's five columns and two, four, and six rows. So we're going to go to our table. This is how you do a table. Two, four, five, six. Five times six. All right. That's how I do my table. Two, four, six. Yeah. And then you'll have to fill in the information that is being given. All right. So I'm just gonna type in the information that is given on my document, and then I'll come back to you when I'm done. Let me pause this video. So guys, this is the document that I've just created now. You will see that there are a lot of things that are all over the place, but we're going to fix it just now. So, it's everything needs to be, it has to be like this, this way. This is how you do it, with no space on the side, with no space at the top. And you're going to go back, we're going to go back to our document. So 1.2 said, set the font to Arial size 12. Okay. So you're going to go to your document as 
Mem Hudson had already told us, you just have to click on Control A, and then it's going to highlight everything. Then you're going to look here for Arial. Arial size 12, ne? So here's our Arial size 12 of the of the document. Then you're going to go back and read instruction. If you're using a Miss Work instead of header with the examination number, question 1, centered on one line. Alright, so we're going to go back to our document, and then we're going to look for... You're going to go to insert, look for the header. So you're going to choose um, an option for your header. Which one would you like best? But okay, I'll just go with the first one. Okay, so here I'm going to write my examination number. But for now, I'm, I'm going to write my name and surname. Okay, so it's Raya Harbati. I'm just going to say question one. And then the instruction says that your header should be, you're going to highlight it, um, centered on one line. So meaning that, and this is a mark, guys. So you're going to go to home and put it in the center. All right. It's going to be at the center. Okay. Like that. If you want it to be bold, you can make it bold as well. Okay. Then you're going to, I can we double click on the header. No, we went to insert and the head and insert header or footer so you're just gonna double click at the bottom of your header which is just below double click then you're gonna go back to your document so nothing is gonna affect your header okay so going back to our instructions key in the field name row one in uppercase and write a line right align it okay so these are your field names so we're gonna do it this way we're gonna do it this way it says right align gonna highlight it and then we're gonna go to home and what did they say uh, right align it so you're gonna look here there's an option here it says align left align center and this is your right align okay there's a mark as well for that okay so it says key in all data accurately we just did it right now and change the page orientation to landscape okay so you're gonna go to page layout at the top of your document and then there are options just there you're gonna make your what did they say let's see landscape okay so on your orientation you're gonna choose landscape so you're gonna see the size of your page it has changed already okay the size of your page has changed to this shape it's no longer straight but then it's it's this shape it's orientated to landscape going back to our documents reading instructions step by step again so number seven says adjust the column width to ensure that the data for each record is displayed on one line as indicated save the document as question one according to the college examination regulation print the data source document on one a4 landscape page and place it into your examination folder all right so we're going to change we're going to start with question 1.7 so as mem had already told us this is how you're going to do it you see there's a small box here at the bottom of your table. You're just going to double click on it and pull it a bit. Ne? After doing so, there's this other one. You're going to click on it and then you're going to right click on it. Then you're just going to go down and says auto fill. And then you're going to select auto fit to content. And there you go. Everything is in the same block. Everything is in the same block. All right. So going back to our instruction, what do our instruction say? It says that save the document is question one. A lot of people don't know how to save, but when you save your document, you can either say control S, it's going to give you this option, or rather, this is how you go back with this arrow, ne? or rather you can just come here on file and click on save S. Let's do it. This is going to show up because this is Windows 365. So you're going to click on Browse. I care you haven't, uh, you haven't had any documents. This is your question one. You're going to click on Browse. And then you're going to go on your desktop. 
on your far left, there's an option for desktop. And then you're going to say new folder. You're going to create a folder for your test, for your examination. For this folder, you can just say um, final, um, final, and then just write your name. Okay. And then you're going to double click on the document that you just created and say question one. One. Then you're gonna come here where it says save. You save your document. So question one already is saved. That's your question one. So yeah. And then after going to question one. So now if you want to print, you can say control, click on your control, long press, don't leave control, and then you press P. Press on control and P. This is going to show up. Or rather, if you are lazy to do that, but these are my shortcuts. You can go to File and click on Print just here. It's going to show you how your document is going to look. And then you're just going to print the document if you don't know how to print. But by now, everybody else knows how to print. Okay. Going back to your document, you look at the top top of your left. That is your back thing. Your back error is going to take you back to your document. So because I have saved my document, I can just close it whichever way. It's already saved. And then it's saved. So we're going to move on to question two. Okay. Question two, I'll record another video for question two. Thanks for watching.